Stuttgart the 17th of January 2018 this is the CMT trade fair which actually closed about an hour ago but I'm still here and so a lot of other people uh, these are people who actually work on these stands having a few drinks before they go home and I'm taking the opportunity to film vehicles such as this one the G740 from Pilot which costs around 83,000 euros it's 749 centimeters long it's a fully integrated model as you can see and uh, let's have a look here at the garage so we can see it's 76 centimeters 120 centimeters in height so there's plenty of space then you get quite a few bikes in there what we see from this means that we can move the bed up and down should we so choose and there's a choice of fabrics I don't know if it's for this vehicle but as it's in the garage of this one it probably is for this one we can also see there's a ladder in there which suggests there may be a second bed coming in let's go at the back look at that enormous bed here which can go up or go down depending on your requirements hanging space at either side let's uh, get around here now often I find when I'm in a uh, van like this with a queen bed I'm banging my head against the wall but I'm just gonna stand here to make the point there's me and as you can see there's still a bit of headroom so uh, that's not too bad there's a step here behind me now and if I stood on that I would of course then be banging my head on the wall now uh, next to the bed you've got like a bedside table here useful feature if Mr. Pilot is watching this would be a electric point there for 12 volt so you can charge your mobile phone as most people seem to want to do that in bed anyway lockers above the bed and here we've got a large light switch see lights on and off domestic sized shower in there only one plug hole unfortunately but uh, it, it does it is rather um, nicely shaped uh, hopefully to get rid of the water got something down here I wonder what that could be oh and there's my tie got a bit of storage down there and in here toilet you want you can close the door there yeah and uh, mirror plenty of light in here bit more storage you get a lot in there can't you well this is pretty nice personally I don't like this color very much but I know it's a lot of vans in this color this year maybe it's just maybe it's popular but anyway that's just my opinion just uh, make that a minor point now in the kitchen if you're going to be doing any cooking you've got here a really good setup for doing it now your sinks here you've got your burners over here now I appreciate that for some people that may be a little bit too far for them um, but for those of us who it isn't too far for to have this huge amount of space down here to work on you know that's absolutely great so you're doing your chopping and whatever and uh, uh, reaching over putting your stuff in and out of the pans when I say out serving you can serve here you've got so much room you've also got a bit of room up here as well now I keep my plants and things up there of course when you're moving where do you put the plants and that's something I haven't yet found out once I do I'll let you know I usually put my plants in the sink, but I don't really think that's the best place for them. Unfortunately, it's the only place I've found so far for them. Right, down here, we've got uh, these drawers. Plenty of room there. And across here as well. Look at that. Quite deep. Knives and forks. Now, I've also got a uh, extractor fan above the cooker got a 
window here so you can look out of it. Oh, and that shelf, that'll do for your mobile phone. But you probably want your mobile phone next to the bed, not there. Stacks of space there. Now, as a rule, I don't like beds in this position because they hit your head. And as I walk down here, well, you know, it's not too bad, that. Yeah, I didn't have to duck to get in here. So, sit down here in my favourite position and admire the view. Look at the amount of space around the table. And with this type of entry as well, you, it feels as though you've got lots and lots of space as you come in. Now, the table will move position. And you've got, you can see on, underneath you've got a lock and it sort of, if you don't like it too far over there or wherever, you can put it where you want, within reason. Fridge over there, you can see the fridge. There's a bit of storage above that. Now, uh, we saw a ladder in the back, which is clearly for this, but to be quite honest, I wouldn't bother. I'd just uh, let the bed uh, come down and I'd step up on the chair onto the table then get in the bed but other people mightn't want to do that they might want the ladder I, f I personally think that standing on the table the chair on the table is much more comfortable now what do you think of this fan does it get you fancy or not see it with a big skylight up there I mean, you've got to admit it's really very very uh, bright inside there's plenty of light in here and uh, yeah, you know, and, and we're inside, and it's dark outside, so uh, really it's not the best conditions to be filming it in. Over here to the left, I'll point out there's no door on the passenger side, but I don't think one is needed. There is, however, a door on the driver's side. Now, personally, uh, I don't, I'd be happy just to have the one door, but I, I do appreciate you know, you've got to get out at times to. Uh, petrol station or something like that. Let's have a look what's down here. So you've got there a bit more space. This seems to be it's a bit on the heavy side. So on my floor I've got a, a non-slip surface and then I've got the, uh, these panels above it. And I've got the uh, heating elements under there. Of course, the heating elements don't weigh anything at all. Okay, right, nice fan. Up here we've got the electrics, and I'll just give you a quick demonstration. So, as I move this thing here around, that shows. Well, it's on hookup anyway, so I mean, it doesn't mean um, the, the, the battery's full. There we go. There. Oh no, that was too quick. That is the fresh water, which is empty. It, Oops, there's the wastewater, also empty. Oh, and there you have the temperature, 22 degrees. 19, what's that mean? 19 degrees externally. That's odd. And that's the time. 1914, is that correct? Let's have a look. Seems a bit... Just check the time, is what it says on that. Here's my phone. Oh, it's just 1914, look at that. So, and see, look, it's two degrees and snowing outside. Okay, you've got Chuma iNet ready there as well. Or, I believe, you can have the Aldi system, I think. I'm just guessing on that one, to be honest. Oh, you can, yeah, Aldi compatible. Good. Nice fan. And look, you've got plenty of stuff here from Pilot as well. You might want to have a look at some other stuff. This one's under 650 centimeters. And that one there, the G700, appears to be rather similar to the one, the G740. So if it's open, we'll have a look at it. Now it's got the beds at the back. But they're different. Let's just put the, the lights on. And this is the single bed version. Now, which would you prefer, the queen bed or this one? Personally, I'd go for the queen bed. But you see, very similar uh, inside, same shower, toilet, and uh, the sitting area as well. 
is just the same. Uh, one difference is here, the kitchen is not as functional as it is in the other version. And here also it looks different. Right, let's turn the lights off. And this one, should you be interested, costs, uh, yeah, it's more or less the same price, 82000 For me, I prefer the 740C, even though it's longer. I like the bed better. I'm not so keen on these uh, single joinable to make a double bed. But, and also I like the layout a bit better. Anyway, what do you think?